Hey, what's up? Uh, as you may already know, uh, I got a cheap 360 off Craigslist for like 40 bucks. So uh, I'm going to be covering some of the stuff on here that I uh, didn't really do a whole lot of when I had my original two 360s that died on me. But uh, what I'm going to show right now is I'm going to show my beat em up collection. Uh, thanks to something I just bought uh, earlier today, I own pretty much every <laughs> beat em up that's been released in the past couple years. Uh, here's the first one, Castle Crashers. Uh, as many problems as this game had, uh, you know, how how one-dimensional the combat was, how ridiculously overpowered the uh, air combos were, and how bad the ground combos were. This game pretty much revitalized the genre. Uh, it sold so well that, that uh, you know, it inspired a lot of other developers to uh, bring the genre back. So, uh, despite my problems with this game, uh, I'm very thankful that it, it exists. Uh, what else do I have? Uh, Charlie Murder. Uh, I picked this up a couple months ago on sale. Uh, by the time you guys see this, you'll, you'll have seen some gameplay of that. Uh, it's not super deep, but uh, I like all the little RPG elements and uh, how unique the characters are, which is another problem I had with Castle Crashers was how similar the characters were. Uh, Skate Studios, uh, I, love this, I love those guys. Uh, they do a really great job, so uh, you can expect more of that in the future. Well, I have Guardian Heroes, of course. Uh, I picked this up like literally like the instant that they they uh, uploaded it. Uh, it's a really good port. They added a lot of new stuff to it. Uh, there's a versus mode. There's a, like a completely new like revamped engine. It's good stuff. Uh, Phantom Breaker. I just picked up earlier today. Uh, I'm not too good at it yet, but uh, I really enjoy the game so far. Uh, the characters definitely are not my cup of tea. I don't like. Uh, annoying screaming anime women, but uh, if you can look past that, it's got some really solid gameplay. Uh, really robust and deep combat for a beat em up. Uh, also, there's Scott Pilgrim, which uh, was not really a great game either. <laughs> uh, I think it's pretty great considering uh, how little time the development team had to make it, but uh, the lack of online play and how similar the characters were were uh, my biggest problems with this game uh, for, for how beautiful the animation was uh, the characters were just much too similar they they really didn't have a whole lot different between them aside from the two special moves i have streets of rage 2 a pretty good port i have the uh x-men port pretty good and both dishwasher games you've heard me rave about these in the past so i won't bore you with that but yeah that's pretty much my almost complete beat em up collection <laughs> Uh, there are a couple that I'm missing that I have on other consoles like Sacred Citadel, but uh, yeah, this this is kind of <laughs> a uh, credit to how dedicated I am to this genre, like hardcore action games and beat em ups. <laughs> uh, I collect them pretty much as soon as they come out, so uh, you can expect some more um, footage of these in the near future once I kind of de-rust and get not shitty at them again. So yeah, um, you can expect probably Phantom Breaker or Charlie Murder gameplay tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Peace.